Okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Kang the Conqueror figure from Quantumania. So we'll take a quick look at the packaging here. So here in the front, we've got a shot of the figure, some cool artwork back there, Quantumania logo at the bottom there. Here on the side, we've got a shot of the Cassie Lang build a figure. Um, here on the back, we've got another shot of Kang and the accessories he comes with, which is just an extra set of hands. And then here on the side, we got some cool artwork of Kang there. And then here at the top, all we have is the Avengers logo. All right, so now let's get him open and check him out. So here is what he looks like out of the packaging. And he's a pretty cool figure. He has a cool design. Um, but there's a lot of flaws in this figure, which I'll get into here in a minute. But he comes with an extra set of hands and the two heads for the Cassie Lang build a figure. All right, so now let's get a closer look at King the Conqueror. So here's a closer look at that King head sculpt there, and it doesn't look too bad. You got the blue and everything for the face shield, and a little blue here on the sides here doesn't look too bad and it looks like Jonathan Majors especially from the side you can tell a little bit more but it looks pretty good um, I wish we would have gotten an unmasked head for Kang we have the one for he who remains but it's not the same he doesn't have the scars and stuff um, but as far as the suit goes I love all the detail in through here the texturing all that looks pretty good paint apps looks pretty nice as well um, my biggest complaint is right here at the like ab crunch. There's a There's a big gap there and then when you tilt them up look how ugly that looks. They didn't even sculpt it down uh, I'll get into that a little bit more, but that's my biggest complaint But I really do like all the detail and stuff on the suit it Turned out really nice Look at all that looks really good purple there his boots down here not much on the inside of the cape here it's pretty plain we do get some paint apps on the back which is nice and all that texture looks really nice the design there not much paint apps on the back of the boots I'm not sure if they're supposed to be or not but and then for the back of the cape looks really nice I got the purple going down there and some more texturing in through there and that design is really cool. I really like that a lot. And the purple and a little blue dot. I guess that's where the power comes from, I guess, for his face shield and stuff. But I really like the paint on the purple. It really stands out. It has that shiny look to it. I like it. Arms here. If you, there it goes. Looks pretty good. So he has on this side, just sort of like, almost like a, like a grabbing or a gripping hand. I don't know why he doesn't come with anything. But, and then fisted hand over here. And the fist on this looks a little strange to me. I guess mainly the thumb part. Because how it's like tucked underneath. I don't know. It might just be me, but it did look a little strange to me. Here's the other hand here. So we've got like a... I don't know what this one's supposed to be, gesturing hand here, and then like a, just like, oh, angry hand. <laughs> and we'll take a quick look at the um, Build-A-Figure head sculpts here. That one looks really good, like Cassie laying there. And I think the ponytail comes out of there. Yep, comes out. Okay, looks pretty good. And the helmeted one, you can see the eyes through there is pretty cool. Looks sort of weird on the back though, where it's like boxy almost. It's kind of cool. You can see where they actually inserted the piece right there for the eyes. It's pretty neat. I'm not sure if I'll get all the rest of the pieces for the build a figure or not. So I just wanted to show you real quick this Kang with the Quantum Mania Ant Man and the He Who Remains, his variant there. These are the only two I have from this wave. Probably the only two I'll get, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that real quick. 
so you can see that and then also I wanted to swap these heads or at least put this one on there so you guys can see that I mean it does go on there it sits a little bit high just slightly you can see from the side there and I mean the looks not exactly right if you wanted to customize it or something you could but I mean I guess it would work so now we'll go through the articulation on them so he can look down a little bit up a decent amount but that little collar back there sort of does restrict that slightly and we got some pretty good head pivot there and uh, the shoulder pieces here really restrict the arms because they can't go out really at all um, and go forward like just a little bit there that's about as far as you can get them to go forward I mean obviously you can bend the elbows but as far as the shoulders go and then we do have the double jointed pinless elbows and another thing is the arms and legs look a little too thin for Jonathan Majors or King they both look really thin compared to what I think he should look like um, especially the legs for me maybe it's just because this part goes out so far makes them look thinner I don't know but definitely definitely arms and legs look a little too thin there and then we got the wrist have the horizontal hinge up and down there on all the hands and then the ugly part here for the ball joint in there when you bend him he can bend back a little bit about that far there but it looks really weird right in there and you can see this part here and then there's like a big gap down in there I don't know if you can see the gap but and he does lean to the sides pretty good but once again it just looks really strange down in here they should have sculpted it down a little further so it didn't look that bad but he can go that way and to this side and it it's sort of strange how it does that because like you can sort of like scoot it back and then forward and scoot it forward and back like that a little bit um, but yeah that just looks really bad in there um, I guess you can rotate it too and then the legs are a little restricted as well um, but they do have slits right here on the sides so it's not quite as bad so if you want to sort of kick it through the slit or something on the side um, we do have thigh cuts up in there if you can see that there double jointed pinless knees there he doesn't really kick up as far as I thought he would about that far uh, ankles go down about that far up mm, ever so slightly not very much though rotation to the side and peg holes on the bottom there so overall this Kang figure is pretty cool I really like the design of him the suit looks really cool I just I really hate how they did that middle part there with the abs because even standing straight up just a normal pose like this you can still see that that gap in there so that's frustrating um, and then the limitations for the shoulders which I mean I sort of understand it because that's the the design of the suit they really couldn't do a whole lot about that unless they were to make it retractable which I know would have been really complicated and expensive um, so that part I sort of understand more even though it, it's frustrating trying to get them in cool poses uh, but mainly that part in the middle I feel like that could have been avoided like that's something that's just a, uh, an error or a mistake in the, the design uh, but I really like the look overall it's pretty cool yeah that and then having like the unmasked head for uh, Jonathan Majors would have been 
appreciated. But yeah, overall, overall, I, I like the figure. I just, I'm a little disappointed because he looked so cool when I first seen him, uh, when they first announced him and showed photos and stuff. I was really excited for him. And I'm just a little, a little disappointed, especially with that. Um, so let me know what you guys think of this figure in the comments. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great day.